A lot to get to here tonight at 5, but we start at the state capitol. There is a bill looking to crack down on assault weapon bans, and it cleared the first vote in the House today. It still has a long way to go before it gets to the governor's desk. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin joins us now to explain how it all played out. Gabrielle? Yeah, Matt, debate on guns here at the state capitol can often be emotional and lengthy, but that wasn't really the case today as House leadership enacted a plan to limit debate on the topic. Madam Speaker, pursuant to House Rule 14, I move that debate on House Bill 1292 be limited to five hours. Democratic leaders in the Colorado House moved to limit debate on a bill looking to ban the sale of assault weapons in the state, stopping debate from going deep into the night like the House has seen happen for other controversial topics in the past like abortion care. Floor debate staying civil for the most part, with Republicans calling the bill an attack on the Second Amendment. As I know what the Second Amendment stands for and I know why and my constituents do as well. It is to protect yourself from an overbearing government. That's the way the founders framed it, and that is what it is. Whether we agree or disagree on it, that's what it was for. Democrats calling on the bill to pass this time around, saying students deserve to grow up without worrying about becoming a victim of gun violence. This is the first time in Colorado history that we have considered a prohibition on the sale of assault weapons in the House chamber. This is the first time that we've ever gotten this, which is actually kind of wild to me because um, I am the first member of Gen Z elected to the Colorado State House. I, I serve House District 4, uh, and, and I'm 27 years old. But what that means is that quite literally for my entire life, we have been living with mass shootings. So today's vote in the House was a big step for the bill, but it still needs one more final vote in the House in order to clear it and head to the Senate. That will likely happen a little bit later this weekend. There were also some amendments added to the bill today, but we'll have to watch and see if those bills stick by the end of the night while lawmakers are still in session here at the state capitol. For now, reporting live outside the capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.